Hi y'all, so today we're looking at um, a selection of American Axis. We were asked to do a video on this and it's a great idea. We do not have all the ones we carry in stock right now. It's been hard to get stuff in stock, but this is a pretty good selection of multiple companies to just give you an idea of what we have. So these range from about 20 inches up to, let me see, 30. Um, and some of these come in longer handle sizes. So let's just take a look real quick here. Um, we'll start in with the Snow and Ely. These are made in Maine by the Amish. Come with US Hickory handles. These are great axis. This is a classic Hudson Bay design. You can also get this in the Penebscot, which has the same head and a shorter handle. So let's take a look at the length. The length is 23 inches. The head weight on this should be about one and three quarter pounds just under two pounds. It comes with this sheath. We'll get a measurement on this. Four inch cutting face. And these are great, they have good steel. The one thing is they come with slightly dull, so they are gonna need a slight amount of sharpening before you use them. And also from Snow and Ely is our best ax. And this one is a little bit heavier. It's two and a quarter pound. And more of a boy's ax type head. So let's get a length on the handle there. It's a 28 inch handle with a cutting face of four inches. So as you can see with the Hudson Bay, let's just take these off. Um, about the same cutting face, so this just gives you a little bit more weight behind your swing, a little bit longer handle. And we'll switch over here to the Hardcore Hammer. And this has a three pound head. It's a pretty good size head. And the handle on this one I think is 28 inches. And you can also get this in a 36 inch handle, I believe. And there's a four pound um, Ranger ax that they make as well, but it has a lot more weight on the end here. And to me, it's more of a splitting ax. So these come extremely sharp, one of the, possibly the sharpest of any brand I've ever seen. And this, yeah. So the cutting face on here is four, about four and a third inches. Put the sheath back on that one. And here we come to the Council Toll Jersey Axe. This is really, for the price, in my opinion, one of the best axes you can get for a felling axe. It's, if you're not working out a lot and you're not using your axe every day, you know, some axes get a little bit too heavy. It's a good weight um, if you just want to go out and use it. And really good design with a good price made in the USA. US Hickory handle, so the length here is 32 inches and you can get this in multiple length as well. And the cutting face is five inches. It's a nice big felling ax, really great item there. And we have the Council Tool Woodcraft Pack Ax. Um, this, you're gonna pay a little more for, but it is a very good design. I love the design on this, that, and one of the old grand furs that they used to make and the old Wetterling, oh, I think is some of the best designs for a lightweight ax. Um, so I definitely recommend this one as well, made in the USA, 23 inch handle with a cutting face of three and a half inches. Great pack axe. Um, so we'll come over here to the Flying Fox with a long handle and they sell the Flying Fox in a short handle as well. It was so popular they made it with a longer handle. And take a look at this handle here, um, very unique. It, how, you know, most axes have sort of that S-curve. This one bends backwards which makes it better for throwing and gives you a very unique feel. Um, really awesome camp axe as well. Smaller head, um, would be great for backpacking. So the overall length is 21 inches and the cutting face is just under four inches. Great new design by Council Tool there. Um, so here we have the Council Tool Bad Boys axe. Um, now let me take over the Our Best Axe by Snow and Ely, as you can tell. Slightly same design, you know, a little different, but we will look at the handle length here. Handle length of 27 inches, and you get a cutting face of four inches. And then here you have sort of the new Hudson Bay that Council Tool has, as well as the older Hudson Bay. So as you can see, it's a little bit different than a lot of the Hudson Bay designs, a little more weight in the back, hard and pull. So let me get this. 
that is just under 23 inch handle with a cutting face of three and a half inches. So now let me bring this over here so you can see more of the classic Hudson Bay design with the newer Hudson Bay type. Well, they say that some of the old Hudson Bays were actually made like this one, but you can see the difference there of the Council Tool Hudson Bay, and they should have the old design that you can get as well from Council Tool. Um, so let's come over here. H&B is really one of the best craftsmen in America. Um, his stuff is high class. I mean, look at that. The handle's textured. Um, I mean, it's his, his craftsmanship is amazing. Uh, that is pretty unbelievable. So let's get the, this is the felling axe from him. And this is a 29 inch handle, 29 and a half inch with a cutting face of four and a half inches. So it is very thin blade, so it's gonna be a little bit lighter, but a very amazing ax there. And here's the camp ax, which, uh, and by the way, the sheaths here, you can see the sheaths are incredibly thick leather made by the Amish. So this is the camp ax and this is very unique as in it has a tomahawk handle. So easier to replace, but gives you a little bit different feel, straight handle. We'll get the length on it. Um, just over 19 inches handle with a cutting face of four inches. So let's, I'm just, I brought this in sort of as an honorable mention, this is brand new to us. Um, this is one of the longest full tank axes I have ever seen. All one piece. Um, very, look at how thick that metal is. It would be very hard to break this thing. Um, so this is made by Tops out of Idaho. I think this is actually new for them as well. So you got a micata handle there. Um, let's get the length on it. I think it's like 19 inches. So yeah, 18 and a half inches. If you go up to there, the tip it's a little longer. It's with a cutting face of just under six inches. So here we have it. Um, like I said, we have more. Some of them are not in stock right now. This is a pretty good sampling though of the different brands that you can get. Um, let us know if you want any more comparisons of any axes in the future. I love doing videos like this, getting them out here and looking at the differences. It's hard to pick out from online to know, you know how each axe looks um, compared to each other. So I really appreciate it. Check out our website, wisemantrading.com. Um, and see what we have there. God bless.